One complicated math concept on the ACT is logarithms. But you don't need to worry because logarithms are simply exponents in disguise. Let's take a look. A logarithm is an expression that produces the necessary exponent to get a desired result with a given base. It is written with the word log and a subscript number for the base, followed by the desired result. It looks scary and technical, so don't worry if it doesn't make sense right away. Let's look at an example to illustrate what this actually means. The log base 3 of 9 is 2. What exponent would you have to raise the base 3 to in order to get 9? Right, you'd have to raise 3 to a power of 2. It's helpful to convert logarithms to expressions with exponents. In other words, read the log symbol as, what exponent do you need to take the base 2 in order to get the number in the parentheses? For example, if you're trying to find the log base 4 of 64, you can translate this into an exponent by taking the base 4 to the power on the right side of the equation, x, and setting this equal to 64. Thinking of this logarithm in the question format above, what exponent of 4 would give you 64? In either case, the best way to solve this is to try out powers of 4 until you get 64. The ACT will not give you logarithm questions with complex expressions or very large numbers. In this case, x must be 3, as 4 to the third power equals 64. The test maker can make logarithm questions a bit more difficult by including variables. It's important to remember that even though there are variables involved, the rules for how logarithms work are exactly the same. Let's say you are asked to find the value of x when the log, based x, of 81 was 4. Just like before, convert the logarithmic expression to an exponent. x to the fourth power equals 81. Again, logarithms are sort of like backwards exponents. At this point, take the fourth root of each side to reveal that x is 3. To review, logarithmic expressions include a base and a desired number and are equivalent to the exponent needed to get the base to that desired number. You can think of a logarithmic expression as the question, what power do you need to take the base to in order to get the number in the parentheses? You can also rewrite the logarithmic expression as an exponent. The base taken to the right side of the equation equals what's inside the parentheses. Once you get the hang of converting logarithms to exponents, questions including such expressions will be a lot easier. As always, some guided practice will help you do that.